Good morning, guys. Look what I've got. Clippers. What do you suppose I'm going to do with those clippers? Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to pick some pumpkins. Down through the years, I've had lots of people ask me, I want to pick the perfect pumpkin. How do I know what to look for? Well, I always tell them. Three things to watch for. Number one, look for one that's a deep orange color. You don't want it to be yellow. That's not a sign of a healthy pumpkin if it's yellow instead of orange. Number two, make sure this, the handle or the stem is nice and big and solid and heavy. Number three, when you pick up the pumpkin, when you lift it off the ground, make sure it's heavy. Some pumpkins are light as a feather and that's not a good sign of a healthy pumpkin. You know what, I just thought of another one. Before you pick it, turn it all the way over and see if it has any bad places in it. Any holes or any soft spots or wrinkled spots, that's a sign that it's probably not gonna last very long. Now, I'm gonna pick my perfect pumpkin and I, no I'm not, I'm gonna, uh, one more thing. A lot of people ask me, can I pick a green one? Will it be okay? You do know that pumpkins are green before they turn orange, right? Well, I always tell them, if you pick a green one, don't pick one like this. Ugh, this is green, but it's soft. Immature pumpkins or not grown up pumpkins are soft. And if you pick it, it's gonna rot. It's not ready to be picked yet. But if you find a dark green pumpkin that looks like this, ugh, he's dark green. And he's hard like a pumpkin if you hit it. This one, if you pick it, it will be okay. And something else, it will go ahead and turn orange even after you pick it. When a pumpkin gets this far along, it wants to be orange and you can't stop it. If you let it sit long enough, it will turn orange. But today I'm finding this one to be my perfect pumpkin. Looky there, don't you think that's a nice perfect pumpkin? I like it. I'm gonna go decorate my front porch with it. Bye guys!